Hey Mustangs, welcome to our Pink Out Show. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is almost over, but we show our awareness in this week's episode and beyond. Let's get started. Hey Mustangs, I'm Olivia Knuckles. And I'm Caitlin Freeze. And, and you're watching, watching LCTV, LCTV right, right here, right now. Today is October 26, 2017. We have all the Pink Out news a little later, but first, here's your news. Texas A&M held a benefit concert with the five living ex-presidents, including Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Jimmy Carter, George Bush, and Bill Clinton, to raise money for areas impacted by this year's hurricanes. So far, they have raised over $33 million. Our very own Houston Astros have made it to the World Series after winning against the Yankees. This will be the first time making it since 2005, and we will, we will be facing the LA Dodgers. Let's go Strohs! Lamar is participating in Red Ribbon Week to fight against drugs, and Spirit Days have been happening all week long, so participate tomorrow by wearing all black and let's stand against drugs. Now let's give it to the LCTV Features team to bring us the statistics for breast cancer awareness. Hi, I'm Lisa Longoria. And I'm Juan Trevino. And we're your Features team, and this week it's Pink Out, so we've decided to put together some breast cancer statistics and way to recognize breast cancer. Hope you enjoy. About one in eight U.S. women will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of their lifetime. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among women. In women under 45, breast cancer is more common in African American women than white women. Overall, African American women are more likely to die of breast cancer. For Asian, Hispanic, and Native American women, the risk of developing and dying from breast cancer is lower. The most common symptom of breast cancer is a new lump or mass. A painless, hard mass that has irregular edges is more likely to be cancer. But breast cancers can be tender, soft, or round. They can even be painful. For this reason, it is important to have any new breast mass or lump or breast change checked by a healthcare provider experiencing diagnosis. A woman's risk of breast cancer nearly doubles if she has a first-degree relative. Sometimes breast cancer can spread to lymph nodes under the arm or around the collarbone and cause a lump or swelling there. Even before the original tumor in the breast tissue is large enough to be felt, swollen lymph nodes should also be checked by a healthcare provider. Coming up next, Jose Resendez brings us an interview on the impact of breast cancer awareness from listings. Senior Best of the Best nominations are open through this afternoon. Seniors can access the document through your Naviance accounts. Please use your first and last name. Winners will be announced in next week's broadcast. Any Lamar student who would like to participate on or try out for the baseball team in January, stop by Coach Strother's room A105 to pick up information that you need leading up to tryouts. TSA will be meeting every Tuesday in room E109 after school until 4.30 p.m. Dues for the year are $30. New members are welcome and old members are expected. See Ms. Roush with any questions. There will be a mandatory parent meeting for all students wishing to try out for the 2018-2019 Phillies dance team. It will be held from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. November 7th in the cafeteria. Mustang Playhouse and Thespian Troop 2806 is participating in Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat, a national campaign to help end hunger. Please donate non-perishable and canned food items all throughout the month of October. Turning your donations to your advisory teachers. The class with the most donations wins a pizza party courtesy of Mustang Playhouse. The last day to donate is October 31st. Check the expiration date before donating. Welcome back Mustangs. Now let's turn to Jose Resendez with why bringing awareness to breast cancer is important. Thanks guys, Jose Resendez here from LCTV. This week we covered why you should support Breast Cancer Awareness Month and all the organizations that come with it. People should show recognition for Breast Cancer Awareness Month because it's a thing that can really like put an impact on people's lives and families and it impacts a lot of people so putting like awareness for it I believe really like brings hope into those that are going through it or have went through it or might go through it in the future. Our mom suffered breast, breast cancer back in 2008 and I don't really remember it that much but I do remember like the pain she was going through and it's, and it's sad to see that she went through that and it's sad to see that everyone else went through that like the people that suffer it and I'm hoping that one day we, everyone will find a cure to breast cancer and other cancers around this world that are being affected other people and I hope that everyone stays strong and doesn't give up on their fight and stays doing their little fight for their lives so they don't lose it. Remember to wear pink to show support for all those affected and to show support to the following organizations.
Um, the Kindness Rock Project is available for everybody. The Kindness Rock Project is our way to um, express positivity and compassion. It's located at the courtyard between C109 and C110. So if you pass by here, share one, take one, or leave one. Thank you, Jose. Now let's toss it to Liz to give us the latest on sports. What's up, Mustangs? We have had an exciting week, so let's get right into the update. Last Thursday, the freshman blue football team beat the Wildcats at Angleton 36-19. The other two football teams fell short, but that's okay because this week is a bye week, so the boys will be rested and ready to take on the West Warriors at Victoria. Since last Friday was mentor night, in addition to pink out, Kaylin talked to some of the players and their mentors. To be Jared's mentor, um, it really makes me feel honored and um, it's an honor to be a teacher here, but it's a super honor to have a student come by on a weekly basis to chat about grades or whatever's going on, so it's really honored to be your mentor. How did you feel when he asked you to be his mentor? I really was honored. Like, I was honored that he asked me to be his mentor, that I get to check up on him and, um, you know, make sure he's passing his classes. You are passing your classes, right? Yeah. Why did you pick Dr. Guest to be your mentor? I picked Dr. Guest because he's a great mold role model and also he's been around this school for a long time. And I chose him because I want to learn from him and learn his wisdom. Last Friday, the Lady Mustang volleyball team took on the Wildcats at home for parent night. Both freshmen and JV fell short, but varsity swept the Wildcats in three straight sets. Tuesday was the last game of the season, and for the seniors, their last time in a Mustang uniform. Tyra caught up with the ladies after the game. did us proud competing against the best runners in the region at Corpus Christi on Monday. Hannah placed 23rd out of 190 and finished with a time of 20:29. Elliot placed 131st out of 171 with a time of 18:55. Way to represent you guys. As many of you know, the Houston Astros are headed to the World Series for the first time since 2005. I took to the halls to quiz our students and our staff about the hometown team in a new segment that we would like to call Face Off. Korea. This is Springer. This is Altuve. This is Verlander. Altuve. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say Verlander. Yes, you're right, you're correct. Michael Jordan. Yes. No. No. This one. No. This one. <laughs> no, he's been in five All Star games. Okay, Korea is tall as then it's JV. I think you're already already. Right. Yeah, I'll take you. Shortest. Good. Here, I'll hold him. Then he's Let me the see. next shortest. Good. Springer's the next shortest. Then this who? Is easy, I think. Next. Yes. And, and the tallest. Good job, yeah. you're the only person to get that right so far. Looks like some people need to brush up on their Astros knowledge. Well, that's all for this week, you guys. Back to you. Thank you, Liz. That's all for this week, Mustangs. We hope you enjoyed our Pink Out show. Be sure to stick around for the credits where we see culinary cook us up some Kung Pao chicken and fried rice. Be sure to tune in next week. For all of us here at LCTV, I'm Caitlin Fries. And I'm Olivia Knuckles. And we are Americans, we are Mustangs, and yes, we are the future. Have a great day. We're having Kung Pao chicken, fried rice, and Sichuan style wontons. What are you doing? You're making a chili oil for the wontons. Oh, that's me. I'm good. What are you making? Wontons. Wontons.